Welcome everybody. So today I'm going to talk about and demonstrate the new AI browser which is known as the Comet by Perplexity. So I'm going to go ahead and just download. Straightforward. If you're invited, the installation is complete and I'm going to go ahead and launch the browser itself and see what it does. How does it work? So there you go. You're seeing it for the first time. If you've not already downloaded or if you're not, you didn't get an email, well here it is. This is Comet by perplexity so I'm gonna go ahead and then import my chrome I can change the theme to dark or light which is not bad Let's continue one last step and it just simply ask whether you want to add to the taskbar startup and I'm gonna click start comment and there we go so this is the new browser and it looks pretty much let's see what it looks like so I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to the browser why well, it opened three tabs for me so skip for now i can continue with google uh, because i already i think i have an account so i'm going to go ahead and continue with google and then it asks whether you want to connect to your gmail and google calendar well if i do then of course since it's an ai based browser it's going to start sending emails for me if that's what i would like to do and start my calendar or my booking my appointments and so forth or if i want to make it a default browser i could do so well, this is probably something new, of course. Well, everyone does it. Even Microsoft Edge did the same as opposed to using Chrome all the time. Well, let's go ahead and skip this for now. And I'm going to go ahead and finish the setup because I'd just like to test the browser itself and see what this looks like. Well, and it gives me a link. If I need to invite a friend to comment, I'm going to paste this in the description. And that's only for the first four invitations. So... Let me go ahead and copy this invitation link and save it to my notepad. So I did save it to my notepad. Here's the link. I'm going to paste in the description below as well. So you can take a look at this and let's click on continue. And there we go. So it says try comment assistant. I can check my emails, identify promotional emails, find emails, calendar details, browser, and then search. So, for example, I don't need to search for something like a keyword. Well, keywords are probably uh, history as we speak, moving forward with AI. Now we have this whole long tail like sentences, right? So if you need to say, for example, build a grocery delivery cart with all the ingredients for a Caesar salad and let me review it before checkout. Well, it will do that for you. Similarly, it will open LinkedIn, Gmail, Twitter, whatever it is that you would like to do, or you can spin up. A quick workspace for example the Google work workspace or emails find the last seven emails and so on so this is the uh, browser there's also a little video that I can click on and it kind of shows and tells you what it looks like and how it works so you can see that you know it just says find new email from my teammates and perplexity browser goes out there to your Gmail and then finds all the emails and then you can take a look at it. So I'm gonna make it a little bigger so you can actually see it for yourself. It's just like 40 seconds or so. And this is actually pretty powerful. So notice how it's actually doing and you know, telling or instructing the assistant is actually doing a lot of work for you. So I don't have to go fetch my emails or write emails or book appointments. It actually would do it for me, which is a pretty handy tool before we actually used to use the Chrome extensions right and there were many many small pieces of software plugins that we were used to um, using and now we don't have to so now we have this all right perfect let me close this and let's go ahead and identify the three hottest news stories open three different viewpoints for each as tabs and group them by topic so let's go ahead and check out the browser so here's the browser looks like pretty much gives you all the breaking news and it explores the recent developments and analyzes diverse perspectives for you exploring different perspectives on Trump's decision to deploy troops for example and again these are the new stories and it's going to open up three new tabs for you and it's going to give you the latest news right that's what we told it to do which is not bad it's just making things easier for me and again, this is the assistant then gives you the sources as well. And then, of course, the steps. And I can ask for a follow up here or I can ask anything else. So let's say if I'm interested, for example, in 
So say for example, how do I start my career as a cloud engineer? So let's see what it does. So once again, it's not just the keywords, right? And that's important. So it goes ahead, gathers the essential data to start a career as a cloud engineer in 2025, follow these key steps, and it's going to give you all those steps. So you can simply take a look, read about them, and it gives you the sources, which is, I think, pretty nice because it does give you the sources. You can directly go to these sites as well. So it's not just giving you the results. It's actually giving you the sites as well, which is something that, of course, Google doesn't do at this point in time. And this is nice because I can directly go to the YouTube and watch the video, or I can simply go through the steps myself, and then it gives you the pro tip, and then gives you the related links as well. Identify key certifications to pursue for a cloud engineer, list the essential programming languages. Again, these are the questions that are follow-up questions to my basic search, and I just gave it a simple search criteria, right? So this is, gives me a comprehensive, uh, including links, videos, details, as well as follow-up questions that I may ask. Well, I had a question anyways, right? Which key certifications to pursue for a cloud engineering career? So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And then it goes ahead, the assistant explores the most valuable certifications. Once again, gives me all the uh, links that it finds and then gives me the five, the top five or lists all the certifications for me. Now, I didn't tell it to give me the certifications for AWS or Azure or Google Cloud, but it gives me the details for all of them. So for the AWS Solutions Architect Associate, the Azure Fundamentals, the Google Cloud Engineer, the IBM Certified Technical Advocate, and then the CCSK as well. So that's pretty neat because it's, you know, it, it's taking a balanced approach, so it's not being biased, which is nice. So now it gives me all the uh, different certifications that I can actually pick and choose. Uh, and then I can say something like, how do I become an AWS certified architect, right? Well, it's going to get now give me that. So the flow is is very nice as you're actually, you know, browsing around or you're actually asking questions. So it's no more search, right? The keywords are, like I said earlier, it's most likely history. Now we're actually engaging with these and now we're actually um, getting some, some detailed, substantial information, data, that is valuable to us, to a user, right? So if I'm looking at this, then it tells me how to become an AWS certified architect. You know, it picks up the sources. And then, of course, and now if you're, if you're a blog or your blog is not showing in perplexity, well, that's exactly how AI works, right? All right, so here's a pro tip and so on. So that's the browser. On the left-hand side, we have a new thread which is not bad, just like, um, for example, ChatGPT, right? You have new chats. You can set up You can set up a new thread and maintain this history. So you can always come back to this search, right? Once again, it's not a keyword only. So, and I can go to home, for example. I can discover for you top tech, science, finance, arts and culture, sports, entertainment, and I can also create my own spaces as well. So if I were to, let's say, discover finance gives me the detailed news published 13 hours ago, right? The latest news in finance. And then, of course, all the news related to finance, including the stock market, the weather, training companies, and make it yours. I can save the interest. I can share, which is not bad. So it's, um, it's very robust, I must say. That's not bad. All right, so let's check out for example, let's go back to home, and here we are. And here, you'll notice I can search, I can of course, do the pro version, or I can do a deep research on any topic, which is extended access for subscribers. And of course, there are labs as well. I can create projects from scratch, where I can turn my ideas into documents, slides, dashboards, or maybe I want to create an application or an app. I could do so. And if that's the case, then I can, of course, I need to subscribe to the pro version. All right, which is uh, Get Pro is $20 a month, and the uh, max plan is $200 a month. Well, that's what I wanted to show you in Perplexity, for example. So I think it's a pretty neat browser. Not bad, very robust, very easy, and gives you little cards right here, right across the bat. And it gives me accounts of Google. I can connect to Google. Once again, it will. if I do that, 
the assistant is going to go ahead and manage my emails as well. I can edit the widgets here. For example, if I don't like any of these, I can add or delete any of these widgets. I can also try the assistant, which we've done, right? I've already shown you this. So that's perplexity comment. I think pretty neat, but what do you think? Let me know in comments down below if you've used or what you've seen. And I'd like to have a great discussion with you. I like your input as to what do you think about this browser as a competitor, for example, to Google Chrome. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.